Hey, how's it going? Steve here from Post Processing Mastery. Now, what I'm going to show you in this quick video is a way that you can use the curves adjustment layer to add contrast just in the uh, just in the shadow areas of an image. The benefit of doing what I'm about to show you now is that it gives you a bit of a head start when it comes to applying this effect just in those those areas where you want it to happen. So I've got this image open here, and I've got some layers here which uh, which I'm hiding at the moment, they're not relevant to this uh, to this demo. So what I want to do is just add a curves adjustment, which increases the contrast in these mountains here. So the typical way of adding contrast with the, uh, with the curves adjustment is to just do what's known as an S curve. So we grab this line here and push that up towards the top, grab it down the bottom and push this one down. And we can see the contrast is, is turning quite nice there. But the problem, if I zoom in here, Let's go in a couple of levels. What you'll notice is that these white areas here are just getting a little bit too bright and we're losing some important detail in there. So whilst what's happening here is, is actually quite good, these, uh, these snowy peaks over here, this glacier, is, uh, yeah, like I say, that's, that's losing detail. So what I'm just, just going to show you is uh, a way to, just still within that one curves adjustment, to, to be able to add contrast in just the darker portion. So let's, you know, I've just uh, just deleted that adjustment I made so we could start over. So add that curves adjustment. And so to protect these highlights, what we need to do is just click a point there on that, um, on the line, just up towards the top. And another one here and just, well, I've actually uh, moved that line accidentally there. So I'm just gonna put that back. And you know these two points here, by adding those in, what that's going to do is is stop, or it's going to protect those highlight tones um, by stopping the curve moving in this in this uh, upper end when I move and create an S curve in this lower portion. So I've added those two there. They hopefully I might need to adjust those, but they're hopefully going to protect those highlights. And now what I can do is just add another point here and increase that. Add another point down the bottom here and decrease that. And let's do a before and after on that. And we can see, you know, because the S curve is only really happening from this point down. And so just keeping an eye on these highlights here, nothing there is really changing, even though we've got that nice increase in contrast in the, uh, in the darker parts. So let me just zoom out. And see what that looks like on the full image. And I think that's pretty effective. I mean, if you wanted to, you still could go ahead and use a layer mask there to, you know, like if we didn't like what was happening in the clouds up here and down in the reflections, we could still um, still apply this just in this main area here with a layer mask. But I don't think that's too bad, actually. But, you know, that's up to you and that depends on the image you're working on. So just let's open that up again. And, and the idea, I mean, you can do the same thing in reverse. So you could protect the shadow details if you wanted to increase the contrast in just the highlights. So yeah, but like I said, the, the idea is to add those placeholders in which stop that part of the curve from moving when you adjust the rest of it. So uh, yeah, there we go. Now again, if you want to grab a copy of my post-processing workflow cheat sheet, which you can download as a PDF, then you can just click the link below this video now and enter your email address and I'll have that sent right over to you. In that cheat sheet, I'm going to lay out my six stage end to end post processing workflow from, you know, all the way from camera raw to the finished product. And so, like I said, if you haven't downloaded it yet, go and grab a copy, give it a go and let me know what you think. Okay. Cheers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.